Your network is your net worth. You might have heard sayings like this before, or it's not what you know, it's who you know. And honestly, it couldn't be any more true. Your network can lead to a lot of opportunities in your career, freelancing business, and even in your personal life. And that's why in this video, I wanted to share everything I know about networking in person and online so you can start maximizing your career, your personal growth, and entrepreneurship. Networking isn't just about handing out business cards and doing things like that. It's about building actual meaningful long-term relationships with people that are in your field or even other industries that can lead to different things that you can actually start benefiting one another with. So again, it can be business and exchanging leads and opportunities. It could be finding a job or someone you could hire, or maybe just on a personal level, you can start a mastermind and be around more like-minded people. And there's a few different ways you can network. There of course is in-person networking physically which I do recommend going to conferences and events and meetups in your area meetup.com and eventbrite are amazing for this you can definitely make a schedule or a routine of looking up events that are in your area and then maybe attending one per month to start I really like different investing dinners masterminds chamber of commerce is really good as well and then you also have online networking with LinkedIn social media YouTube all these things there's really no excuse to not be networking at all because you can do it literally on your phone or your computer you can reach out to people on LinkedIn you can DM them on Instagram, ask them to grab a cup of coffee or just to talk about something related to business or your field. I found tons of opportunities reaching out to people on LinkedIn, Instagram. I've met up with a few people for coffee. That's turned into business opportunities, projects, and even mentors for myself. And to get the most out of networking, the first step is actually setting networking goals for yourself. Like anything, you don't want to just do it blindly or for no reason. So think about exactly what you want to get out of networking to begin with. This can be getting maybe a new high paying job or finding just kind of opportunities in the same field you're in or another one. It can be for business in terms of finding business partners, investors, maybe getting clients for your freelance business, whatever kind of service you offer. Or maybe it's just to meet like-minded people. Maybe you want to start a mastermind. You want to have friends that are in your field or that are related to you in terms of values and kind of aspirations. That's another really good way to network and a really good goal for networking. And that's something that really is the fundamental of it all. Maybe you don't get a business opportunity out of it or a new job, but you just meet people that are like-minded and now you have somebody you can share your goals with and have an accountability partner. Okay, step number two is preparing your pitch or your elevator pitch. So very quickly, you should be able to sum up exactly what you do and the value you offer. So maybe if someone comes to you as a potential employer, you can tell them about your experience, your resume, what you offer, and then you can actually set up a meeting for an interview or just to talk more, maybe about their company and some opportunities that they have. Maybe you have a business, right? You offer services, you're a freelancer, maybe you have a physical or digital product. You should be able to very quickly sum that up so if people are interested, they know exactly what you do and why they should buy from you. And then step number three is choosing the right networking opportunities because not all of them are really built the same. Now, ideally, you're gonna attend events or reach out to people that are in your industry or your target audience. So let's say, for example, you're a freelance copywriter. I know a lot of my audience is. Well, you probably wanna to talk to business owners, marketers, people that could actually use your uh, services as a copywriter. So in that case, you can go to marketing conferences and events, chamber of commerce, think about where your target audience would be, and then go to events that are related to that. Otherwise, you might go to an event or a conference, but you're not really meeting the right people for your business. The same goes for your career. If there's a certain industry you specialize in and you wanna get a job in that and climb the ladder, go to events that are related to healthcare, AI, whatever kind of field you're in, and it's a lot more likely you'll get a good opportunity out of that. And now when you're actually at events, one of the best skills you can learn is being a good listener and asking the right questions, because something you'll see at a lot of events is those people that just kind of peddle their business cards to everybody, but that's not really unique and genuine and sincere. But when you ask questions about what other people do and you're fascinated by them and interested, you immediately stand out and you build that actual meaningful connection that can go a really long way. So learn to ask the right questions, be a good listener, and don't just try to immediately pitch your business or what you do. If somebody asks and it comes up, which if you're at an event or a conference or networking and naturally will and you can explain to them what you do but don't try to force your way into conversations and do that just try to have a meaningful connection and make it very organic and natural okay another really big key for networking is following up this is a big mistake a lot of people make let's say for example you got someone's business card or their social media well go follow them on LinkedIn follow them on Instagram maybe shoot them a text or an email follow up, say it was nice to meet them, thanks for the opportunity, and then maybe actually propose having some other phone call, grabbing coffee, and kind of get the relationship going in that way. But following up is really big. And it's just like in sales, when you're doing outbound, the follow up is really the key to success, and networking is the exact same. It's exactly like when you're doing outbound or cold emailing or cold calling, it's the follow up that actually makes you successful, and networking is no different. Providing value is also something you really wanna focus on when it comes to networking. So for example, as someone that's in entrepreneurship, marketing, the things I do, usually when I meet someone, I can give them marketing advice. I might give them a free marketing consultation after. Maybe we can break down their sales copy, their website, their funnel, and I can actually give them practical advice, usually at the event or online, like the first time we're talking, and they get a lot of value 
and a good first impression. And that first impression can go a really long way because that's the thoughts and the emotions and the feelings someone associates with you. So think about just even a conversation, how you can offer value, maybe solve one of their pain points, just give them something they can walk away with that's really practical. So just think about when you're having that conversation with somebody, what's some value or knowledge or info you can share with them that they can apply right away and actually get something meaningful out of their engagement with you. And something else that's really important, kind of goes back and ties into some of these other points, is just being patient and authentic and being genuine. So something you also see at events is sometimes people try to be something they aren't. You know, you hear that saying, fake it till you make it. But I think being genuine and authentic will go a long way in your career and business. So be upfront about where you are, what you're offering, your skills. Don't try to make it seem like you're doing something bigger or different than what you are. It's usually pretty easy to spot people that are like that. And when you're honest and authentic, people are attracted to that. They appreciate it, they respect it. And that's what can actually get you business deals and jobs. But to sum that up, networking is one of the best ways to get a better job, to grow your business, and to meet like-minded people and maybe form a mastermind over time. And you can do it online through social media, via email, doing cold calling, cold emailing, and DMs. But you can also go to physical events with meetup.com, Eventbrite, Chamber of Commerce. But that essentially sums up the power of networking. You can do it online and digitally. You can do it in person at conferences and events. And I recommend that you just get into the habit of reaching out to people and networking because honestly, it can lead to such great things in your personal and professional life. If you want to learn more about entrepreneurship, career, and self-development, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You can also let me know anything you want to see in a future video down in the comments. Hope you're having an awesome week and I'll catch you very soon.